Hello everybody and welcome to another quick tip video for Blender. This time I will show you how to uh, duplicate some objects along the path uh, defined by some curve, uh, but without the deformation of the mesh itself. Uh, you probably know a method uh, where you pick the object that you want to duplicate and go to modifiers and add array and curve deformation and it's pretty good method uh, for most objects, but the duplicates along the path, if I pick the laser curve, will be actually deformed by the curve. And you don't want that. You want the object to stay in the shape uh, it is. Uh, just the placement and rotation will be defined by the curve. So another method that I will show you the, for, uh, I think, the proper method is using uh, some uh, dupli frames or dupli words. Uh, for the curve, I believe it's better to use dupli frames because uh, the control of their spacing. I will show you now. Uh, I have this lamp post. I want to duplicate it along this curve. Uh, it's some road or whatever. So I will just uh, select this hanging lamp and not in modifiers, but in constraints. I will animate this uh, lamp along the path, so at object constraints and follow path. Here I will choose the Bezier curve and I want uh, to maintain the rotation, so follow curve and fixed position. And now with this offset value, I will animate the lamp post along the path, it's kind of long path. You can see from 0 to 1, from start to end. Okay, so in the frame 1, I will just right click and insert, insert keyframe. And on some other frame, it really doesn't matter for now. I will go to the 1, offset 1, and insert keyframe again. So now I have animated the lamp pose. Okay, now for the duplicates. Still with selected. Lamp both, uh, go to the object settings and here duplication and select frames. And now I see every frame where the lamp actually is on the curve. First of all, I see it doesn't go to the end, till the end, because I choose a frame that is above 100. And you can see here in the duplication it works only from 1 to 100 frames. Uh, for this purpose, just uh, set the end to some arbitrary big value, so you will never run out of the lamps. Okay, second, uh, the spacing of the lamps isn't even uh, along the curve. Uh, you can see that uh, there is, uh, they are much denser on the start and the end, and there are much bigger gaps somewhere in the middle of the curve. And it's all defined uh, by the speed of the lamp while moving along the path. So we will change this timeline to graph editor. And you can see here is the only one value that we animated. Uh, if I hit period on the number pad, I can see it cl clearly that it isn't linear path. It's not a uh, straight line here between these two keyframes so it's moving slowly in the beginning but then fast and then slowly again that's why the spacing of the lamps isn't even so we need to change the interpolation uh, nothing easier just uh, make sure you have selected the path hit t and change the interpolation from bezier to linear now all the lamps are evenly spaced that's good and now we need some control over the number of the lamps. And it's also here in the graph editor. Uh, if you select this point, the ending point, uh, where it is in the timeline, like now it's some uh, 105, it means that there is 105 lamps along the whole path. So if we need less of them, just uh, GX, and move it along the x-axis to, for example, 60, and now we have 
60 lampposts along the path. Really simple. Uh, just keep in mind that this is the overall number number like 30 for the whole curve. So if we make the curve uh, right here, make the curve longer or shorter, the number stays the same. So if I make the curve shorter, the spacing of the lamps will decrease because there is shorter path but still 30 lamps. So keep this in mind. We will probably need less lamp lamps here. But if we on contrary made the path really long, we would of course need much more lamps for this spacing. So again, uh, select this point and move it to the right till you are happy with the spacing. You can even uh, make it uh, on duplicates. Uh, if I go to the beginning, so I see the lamp, I can move it along the x-axis, I believe, no, y-axis, duplicate it, R, Z, 180, and it will create the whole street for me. And it's always live editing, so I can anytime change the curve, and it will always follow. Well, it's pretty much all for this quick tip, it's already too long. So I hope it's uh, kind of helpful for you, thank you for watching, and till the next time, bye.